Hey guys, it's your Minecraft here today, and today we're going to be taking a look at this thing. Now, this thing is an expanded Greninja Break slash Greninja GX slash just plain Greninja overall deck, right? I have a Greninja GX. So we have a Greninja GX here, right? We have normal Greninja, right? We have Greninja Break, right? So Greninja has this ability lock and up to 110 damage with the choice band, right? With that Moonlight Slash attack. Which is actually quite good. Because it can 2 hit KO things right? We're only actually playing 3 Froki. And we're playing Volcanion. Of course Greninja Break. Uh, can just snipe off things really well. The normal Greninja can also just do a little bit of chip damage. To help out with KOs. Because oftentimes, uh We'll be doing just almost enough damage to knock something out. And just Greninja. The... the XY base set Greninja will come in save the day. We're also playing Pearl City, Brooklyn Hill, and overall expanded things like Dive Ball and Computers. Let's get into our first match. Alright, so I'm going against this Florgis E. Florgis? Florgis? This fl flower thingamajig deck. Anyway, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna play a Froakie. Just gonna play down Froakie, RNG, and then N. You get 60 cards, and then you get choice bandit. So what's what's this Florgus? What's this, what's this flower thingy ex do? I just gotta put the choice band on the other Froakie. 10 damage, yay! <laughs> the thing only has 160 HP, so it should be quite easy to KO. That being said, Marshall GX has seen play. It's got 150 HP. Actually, that attack though, doing can do quite a lot of damage. That like 30 damage for each uh, grass or fairy type. I want to make a duck about that with that. Because it, it does seem good. However, however, I think it has rotated out, right? So it wouldn't be. So it wouldn't be for standard. Alright, there we go. Water duplicates. Interesting thing. The Froakie that I'm playing has the same HP as Frogadier. Which is both good and bad. Because Frogadier. Has low HP, but then Froakie, you know. Froakie has really high HP, actually, for what it is. Alright. The VS Seeker for a tier now. Let's play the tier then. Alright, let's get a switch there because of the Fairy Garden. And Plea GX! Oh! That's a really good play, actually. Getting rid of, getting rid of the stuff there. Yeah, we evolve that. I'm gonna evolve that Greninja in the back. Do that because I want because like it's not really meant to attack. Well, why did I put, why did I put a choice pin on that? As I say, it's not meant to attack. It's failed massively. I'm doing Moonlight Slash for 110. I'm not gonna discard any energies. Alright. Ooh, that actually, each of your Pokemon's attacks cost less. Oh, so you can do that Bright Garden attack for one energy. That can actually, this is, see, this stuff seems like a good idea for a deck. You can do a lot of damage, I guess. Like. And since it is only legal for Stan, for Spandam, why not play Skyfield? Just fill it with fairy types. That could be a good deck. I'm just gonna water Shuriken. Should we go on Florgus? Florgus? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go on that one. Actually, oh wait, oh wait, oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna leave it on 10 HP. So I'm gonna get 2 hit KO either way, just get turn off abilities then. No, no now this guy will have to play 2 energies to turn off that cal calming aroma. Are you gonna heal up your Sylveon? Nice. Why not heal up Florgus? Florgis. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Yeah, from here on, I'm just gonna call it Florgis. Alright, okay, so what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Lead. Get a supporter. What, what, what supporter is this? Cuckoo. Ooh, ooh, so you can get a knockout now. You can get a call rest and, uh, and, and from. Yeah, you can get a knockout with uh, something. 
Something like a Sylveon GX. Alright, whatever. I've got another Greninja I'm playing Frog in Air and I got a dive ball and stuff, so I could always just dive ball for a Greninja break. Bring up this guy and just get Greninja break in play, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna get an energy. Can I get a Greninja break? Surprised. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Greninja. GX. Evolve that guy. Yes. There we go. 80. Water Shuriken. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna be taking a knockout here, right? Yeah, 110. Getting a knockout, right? Yes. Oh, wait! Oh, no! <laughs> I don't have a- I don't have a choice band. Just get switch and then it's just gonna get a knockout or something. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Wait, no. Not knockout. It's just get a trap Greninja and the active. Like, the other Greninja. Alright, well, first of all, I'm gonna use this Greninja to get a quick, cheeky knockout on that Sylveon. Then I'm gonna get a float stone, just because, yes. Cynthia. Alright, I'm thinking my. I'm thinking I kind of want to dive ball for a uh, Greninja break. Actually, first of all, I'm just gonna get the Super Rods. And this is why I'm playing three Super Rods. Because I need the. I need to get the energies back, too. Alright, yeah, that. And I'm not gonna dive ball. I'm just gonna move. I'm just gonna moon. Mo I'm just gonna moonlight slash. Cause I know he can't get a knockout. He can do 30 damage. Sorry, I meant to 60. In game, he concedes. I see him now. All right, I'm gonna start off with Froggy again. The only two things I can start off with, and 75% of the time it's Froggy. Nah, no, 25% of the time it's Volcanion. All right, okay. Okay, so you just get a level ball for a Ponita. Hmm. Agility. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know, there's a Rapidash that evolves from, also from the same set. Also knows agility. And I really, and, and, and when I was, uh, when I was little, I really liked that card. Eh. Anyways. Just gonna end. Alright, Parallel City. Boom. And of course, my Rain Splash isn't gonna do anything because of my Parallel City. But you know what? It's worth it because the, because you can only have three bands and you now have a, just a five benched. Alright. Alright, he's gonna evolve to Steam Siege Rapidash. Alright. And what's he gonna get what's he gonna get with this? The other Rapidash that that oh that's a real that's that rap the rap that Rapidash that I really liked. What's he even gonna do with it though? I mean, like it's not like he can evolve Rapidash into Rapidash. Rapidash, Rapidash. <laughs> Okay, that, that fire or blast may be problematic for me. If I'm not able to evolve into a Greninja. Alright, I'm just gonna Gren Greninja. I'm just gonna Lysander this Growlithe and Water Duplicates. Because I don't want him attacking with that fire blast to just knock out Frogadier. That means that I do have a splash energy on. But it could still pose a little bit of inconvenience. Especially because this guy would then take a prize card. Yeah, I got a type advantage this game. I'm gonna call rest for eight cards. It's my high powered draw supporter here. Alright, uh, choice band on that frogadier. Should I use computer search? Eh. Alright, well, first of all, you gotta. Just that. I was hoping you would bring up Rapidash. Just knock it out. I'm um, just gonna field blower and moonlight slash with no. Alright, let's gonna bring up a Cynthia, sorry, a uh, Growlithe. Although I do have a Cynthia in hand. Is it, what's he gonna do here? Alright, if he retreats, that could be pretty annoying for me. Although, well, if I have. Can be knocked out? No, I can't. So it'll leave me on 20 HP. Now, if he does it, then I'll be knocked out. So. Maybe I should go for Lysander. Nah, I'm just gonna go for Greninja Break. No, he can't. One hit KO me. Or, well, not really one hit KO, but like, now Rapidash can't KO me with 
one hit right now. Alright, should I go for Trident Bar Shuriken? I mean, like, because the thing is, I mean, like, it'll make zero difference if I would Trident Bar Shuriken or not that. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Shadow Stitching, turn off the abilities. Because weakness is the knockout. Alright, alright, nice Ender. Alright, just gonna call Riss. You're gonna grab five cards. See, my call Riss was actually well timed. Alright, what, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do? 70. Alright, that's the game. That's the game. Just gonna. Energy, you know what? I'm not even going to. I'm just gonna go Moonlight Slash. No. Game. Alright, next game. Alright, I know I just said game a lot, but whatever. This time I actually have a type advantage again. That's nice. Alright, you can grab a Volcanium Prism. Splash Energy for Froakie. Play another Froakie. And N. See, I'm a bit hesitant to play Froakies in this deck because I don't want to run out of space on my bench for my Froggadiers. But yeah, I'm only playing for three Froakie. As you may or may not already know. Alright, let's see. Alright, he's playing the- actually, this guy's playing the same Growlithe as- as a- as the other guy who I was just going against. Alright, it's Tepig. If it involves the Embor, that could be a problem for me. Alright, he's got M yeah, an Embor there, because uh, Embor has a lot of HP. Or, at least compared to me. 150 is bigger than mine's. Alright, I'm gonna dive ball for a frogadier and then put the frog just evolve for the frogadier Cynthia. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Alright, should I uh Should I should I go for Judge Geyser? Nah. Just gonna water duplicates. Alright, alright. All three frogadiers, nice. Alright, what you gonna go for? What's that? Pig knight? Yeah, I think that's a pig knight. Alright. Gonna evolve Greninja there. Yes. What should I put on? Maybe put on pig knight? Get put on pig knight, because that way, if I get a Greninja break, I'm the play, and he doesn't get his Embor in somehow. Then, yeah. I can just knock it out with Giant Marshrican. Same can be said about Growlithe, though, but weakening an Embor might be better. Go press no. And there you go, that's a knockout. Alright, that's a pretty good call verse right there. Just get six cards. It's a pretty well times call verse. Oh, that can be problematic. Fire Blast for 120. If he gets any other damage, then it's a knockout. And I got to do 140 damage here. That's not actually really too much of a problem. I just have to, like, yes, return the energy. But that being said, that being said, actually, I got Lysander, but, yeah, I do want to play support this turn being Colrus, so I'm just gonna do that. Try, yeah, you know, I'm gonna compare, so I'm gonna discard Lysander, Water Energy, grab your Ninja Break, just to increase my HP. Palpad, Cynthia, Lysander, and then, Giant Water Shuriken on, mmm, Growlithe. Cause then, if I do get, you know, like, mini Grin- like, the other Greninja, but I don't get that one. Alright, Super Rod, three energies. Alright, Float Stone, Float Stone, and Energy, Moonlight Slash, press yes, return the basic one, and knock it out. Alright, I'm on track to win here. If he doesn't play anything down, then that's game. Alright. Gonna play Tierno or what's? Oh, that could that could be annoying. That could definitely be annoying, but I can still win the game. Oh wait. Okay. If I'm able to do enough damage, then I'm gonna. Well, I guess how could I how could I win this? Well, first of all, definitely move Moltres into the active because then it'd be easier to get a knockout. Yeah. So use it. Mini Greninja, take a knockout on Growlithe. Giant Roger can knock out Torchic. Tor Torchrek, 
and then and then and yeah then knock out with attack but thing is I don't have enough energy so now I can't get the, I can't get game whatever all right oh okay get a wa I get a water energy being splash energy it's nice so now so now I can actually you know do stuff with it with, with this like with this darn water shark it's gonna knock out Tepig boom two prizes in a single turn without knocking out any any X's or GX's weakness one try game all right so overall this deck is pretty good playing three froki definitely helps right uh greninja gx doesn't really attack just more of just a one shot if you just need to get the da uh, the damage without discarding the energy max potion can occasionally help uh with it with the hp of course right because it is low hp playing three super rod definitely helps uh, Lysander, of course. Parallel City is nice, although can limit your damage in early game. Uh, Colvers is definitely a good draw, high power draw supporter. And besides that, uh, Splash Energy definitely helps. But yeah, so now guys, please leave a like, please subscribe, please watch my other videos, and leave a comment down below. This help me out. I'm gonna come over soon. But until then, I sell Minecraft out. By the way, this video is sponsored by Northcastle Integration LLC, taking companies and putting them together, integrating them.